Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soraya. We are here today at Peninsula High School where you will meet the Lady Panthers varsity basketball team. Coach, tell us, give us like an overview of the team this year. Uh, this year we are a um, young team, a lot of young players this year, a lot of freshmen, sophomores, and um, we're also a very talented team. So I'm, ex I'm excited about this team, we have a good future. Talk a little bit about when you have a young team. What are sort of the challenges that are met with a young team? Um, it's just it's the experience. So when you get in like the tough games, it's it's having that experience to when when you get in the lulls of the game when you know they make a run, we try to make a run. It's it's just having that confidence and that um, just having that confidence to just play through it and and know how to how to win. Just have, having that game experience is really important. On the flip side, um, they're probably really excited to play basketball. So talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, we're um, going into league. Uh, we we had a great preseason. Um, our schedule was tough, and we had a great preseason run. Um, did really well. Our record's really solid going into league. And um, you know, the the girls are have a great great attitude. They're they're fun to coach. They um, really want to work hard and get better, and which makes it fun to to have a team like that. Talking about team bonding, I know you went on a a trip over the winter break. Tell us about that, and just tell us what it does to help the self esteem of the girls. Um, it's just a great way for the girls to get and the coaches to get closer because we basically are together the whole week, and you know we do activities when we don't have a game, and we we have team meals, and it's just it's after that trip, we really um, you can just see that the girls are a lot more closer and um, just bond a lot just from spending that much time together. I know that you went to San Diego this year. Is it always in one place? Does it change? How does that work? Uh, it just depends. So, like, the last couple of few years we've been going to San Diego. We've gone other places, too. But the last few years, just because San Diego has a great tournament, that's we've that's why I've continued to take us there. Cause just we get to see different teams and, and see different competition. That's got to be really exciting, too, for them, is to actually see other teams play and what they get out of that. Yeah, it is good because, I mean, when you – stay local you know you see the same teams and so it's good for them to get that exposure and play against these teams that we wouldn't normally get an opportunity to play against if we didn't go on these trips and what's the main message that you as a coach want them to remember um for like memories or like for the season I think for both for both um i I want it to be a positive experience. I want them to be able to look back and, and think of this as something that was an exciting part of their life and something that they really enjoyed and, and the memories that they'll take, you know, they'll have forever. And I, and I do want it to be a really positive experience for them. And as far as the actual game goes, what do they do or what, and what do you want them to do from season to season to get a little better, the ones that are very committed to basketball? Um, just playing and and in the off season we do try and like lift weights and, and get stronger in the off season and but the main thing is I really want them to play basketball that's how you get better just getting out there and playing all the time shooting when when they can okay and something I'm going to ask them so I'm going to ask you how many free throws do you usually shoot when you start working on that in practice oh, I try and get try and get it at least I mean on their own but as a team and when they individually shoot I would say like try and get like 30 maybe in, in, a, in a practice each, um, but it ranges. And Sometimes when, it's more. when was the last time you shot a free throw? I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. The joys of being the coach, right? Jacqueline, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing basketball for 13 years, and I chose it as my sport because I like the physical aspect of it, like the contact sport, and I like being a part of the team too. Did you ever try any other sports? I did. I did cross country and track my freshman year. Now, do you still do those or just basketball? No, I just do basketball now. What do you think that you probably learned the most from other sports that help you here on the hardwood? I think running made me really mentally strong. It was basically mostly mental, more than physical, I feel like. So that's, it helps me. Like when, we, when I'm tired, I try to keep going even when I'm tired. How many free throws do you usually shoot before practice? Um, maybe like 20. And in practice, we do a bunch. We do like, like we do like a bunch of rounds of ten, maybe like, tw like twenty to thirty every practice. I feel like. Okay, so that's quite good. Yeah. All right. And then, um, what's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? To play as a team and play hard and play smart. That's our mantra. I think it's play smart, play hard, play together. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. Good. I like that. When you find yourself watching either professional basketball or college, what do you sort of look for or notice that maybe people that didn't play basketball wouldn't see? I notice the different techniques, I think. I try to, like, study the way they, like, anticipate or they make moves, like, 
by people, and yeah, I just try to learn from them. Okay. And then um, this team seems very close knit, even though there's a lot of younger people on it. Do you guys hang out together away from basketball too? We do, yeah. Like tomorrow, we're having a team dinner before our home game, and then we went to San Diego together for a week. Yeah, we spend a lot of time together. And what do you do? You listen to like any kind of music before? How do you sort of psych yourself up for game? Um, I. I just try to focus and I think about what I want to accomplish during the game okay. and just, yeah, focus. I don't, I don't focus on like my schoolwork beforehand. I just look, think about the game. So Veronica, you're a senior on this team. Um, tell me what got you into playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, my sister played basketball. Um, so I think I was kind of following her first footsteps. Um, my dad also played. So I think that kind of had a big influence on me. So yeah. It's interesting because you have been here for all four years playing basketball. When you sort of think back to when you first started, what's it like being a senior now on this team? It's really weird because there's been a lot of people that I've played with that I really like to play with. And, like, they're gone now, but I really like the people on this team, too. So it's changed. Like, the people have changed a lot. So, and so really, you're one of the leaders now. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> And just kind of talking about this team, when, when you have a younger team, what kind of questions do the other players ask you? Sometimes they ask questions about the different offense or the defense, like where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to do. Um, sometimes they ask questions about things like, oh, what do we do before the game? Or what are we supposed to wear? And stuff like that. Just, just stuff that they don't know the answers to. And then before games, speaking of that, how do you sort of psych yourself up? Um, I think about what I need to do during the game, what I can do better from the game before, uh, yeah. And then because you come from a family of basketball, in the off season, do you spend a lot of time working on your game? Yeah, I play with some other teams, um, some club teams, and I practice with them and do other things with them, yeah. Okay. And then what's the message that the coaches always want you guys to remember? Um, they always tell us to play with confidence, um, to know that we're the better team. And then, um, how many free throws do you think you do every day? Uh, probably at least 50. I don't know for sure, but like during practice, we shoot a lot. Mia, tell me how long you've been playing basketball, why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing basketball since I was about six years old, and I kind of just got into the sport because my whole family was into it. It started with my cousins, and it kind of just yeah, grew from there. <laughs> Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I tried. I don't know if you count karate, I guess, like, not really like a court, yeah, but <laughs> karate, softball, um, I did, what else, I think, oh, I used to do a little bit of dance, but not seriously, not anything seriously. <laughs> why do you think that basketball was a sport that you hung on to the most? Um, I think just because, um, again, yeah, my family was so into it, and so it was kind of just like our family thing, and every weekend we would go out, and um, when I used to play club, that was kind of just like our uh, family time, so I think that just stuck with me, and also just um, the whole dynamic and the, how the f sport is, I really enjoyed that, and um, yeah, I think throughout high school too, just the, um, the team and everything and the support that I get from the team just um, helped me uh, want to keep it up and stick with it. You know, speaking of that, I know that you guys were, um, you went to a tournament over the break. Um, tell me what that experience is like. I talked to your coach a little bit about it and just what it does to bond you guys. Okay, yeah, so we went to San Diego and um, basically, um, yeah, you go to a tournament and then we just like get to hang out because um, there's a free day and then our games are later in the day. So um, during the mornings and early in the day, we would get to just chill and hang out and rest. And we roomed um, two people per room. So that was nice because you get to bond, especially with um, the one person you're staying with. Um, but just as a whole, yeah, we did a bunch of activities um, besides just playing basketball. We went to the movies, the mall. And so, yeah, that was a lot of fun because you got to just interact with people that you maybe even wouldn't have gotten as close with if it weren't for the trip. And also, I know you get to um, watch a lot of other basketball teams. What do you think you learn from watching other people play basketball? Um, well, me especially, I try to, um, especially try to um, watch the people that I have like a similar position. And so then I try to see what moves they do, um, things I can learn and take from um, both offense and defense, you know, see if, I, if they do any certain thing that could help me be more aggressive. And yeah, basically just... Things like those. <laughs> okay, and then at an average, how many free throws do you think you shoot a day? 
Oh, um, for this for day, I mean, we when we practice, we do a couple. So maybe like thirty or so, forty. I'm not sure. It depends on the day. Yeah. Nicole, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I am in my eighth. Ninth year of basketball, so I've been playing a long time, and I chose basketball just because it's very exciting and it's energetic, and there's just so much happening all at once. It's just so much fun. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, so I started out with a lot of sports, and then when I got to high school, I had basketball and softball, and eventually I just decided to stick with basketball. What do you think it was about basketball that, you know, kind of said, yeah, this is the one I want to play? Um, definitely because it's fast and upbeat and there's always something going on and I definitely love the girls here so they just make it so much more fun. Speaking of that, you guys got to go on a, a tournament um, after Christmas. Tell me a little bit about that and just what it does for you guys uh, as a bonding experience. Mm -hmm. So we went to San Diego over Christmas bake and it definitely was a bonding experience just because we're always with each other and you know we're not with our families so they're your family when you're down there and we just hang out so much do so many fun activities that you normally wouldn't do when you're just at home and then i know you also get to watch a lot of other teams play basketball what do you think that you learn from or that you notice the most when you're watching other people um when i watch other people play i watch a lot of their like energy and like how they just respond on the court and just you know when teams are really positive it just kind of makes everyone else just feel happy in the room. Okay and then um, before a game how do you kind of psych yourself up? Do you listen to music? What do you do? Yeah so I definitely listen to music just try to relax um, not overthink what it's about to go down yeah. Do you have any particular kind of music or? Um, just whatever's playing on the radio pop culture. <laughs> okay. All right. And then how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day? Oh Maybe 40, 40, I'd say that's a good number. <laughs> Kelly, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing basketball probably since I was like five. Um, and I chose it because my uh, siblings did it my whole family did it. So, yeah. It's Interesting. Did you ever play any other sports besides basketball? Um, I always wanted to be a cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, no. Because <laughs> I got on a stage and I just didn't, wasn't for me. Well, plus this takes a lot of time anyway, so... <laughs> Yes, and yes. Tell me, when you're, uh, you know, in here practicing our games, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, always just to work together, I think. I think that's the biggest thing. And always play to our fullest potential is always what they're saying, yeah. Okay. I know that you guys got to go to a tournament this year after Christmas. Tell me a little bit about that and what, what you think you learned from that the most. Um, I think it was just a good experience just to be with each other and learn more about each other and just being in that different vicinity, I guess, and San Diego is really fun, and just being always constantly around each other is good to get to know each other's players, too, and just uh, playing different competition, especially, like, different levels, so, yeah. When you are in a situation like that where you do see other teams, what do you think you kind of lock into or notice when other teams are playing each other? Um, when I watch other teams play, yeah, I try to focus on their best players, what I notice about uh, how their team plays, what defense they play, what offense they play, who they rely on, stuff like that, I guess, yeah. All right, and then how difficult is it to kind of balance a schoolwork with the basketball time, or have you figured that out? <laughs> I have not figured that out, no. <laughs> it's been, it's my second year, and I still haven't f figured it out, but I don't know, it's hard balance for sure. Yeah, it's no. a lot of time, and especially when season's right during finals, it's, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, <laughs> And then, um, you know, as far as, like, the bonding experience, in addition, do you guys hang out, like, after school or, or? For sure, yeah. I mean, I think we do see each other every day all the time. But, yeah, we see each other. There's, like, a, there's a streak once where we saw each other so many days in a row. Oh, with wow. something like, yeah, like, it was, like, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. We, see, we get a lot of each other. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day? Mm -hmm. Not as much as I should, that's for sure. <laughs> Probably like at least 20, okay, around good. there, yeah. I mean, more or less, yeah. Okay. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball, why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing for like 10 years now, and I chose it because my mom thought it was the most interesting sport, so she liked to watch it, you know? Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I played soccer in middle school, but I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> so, was there a specific reason why you, did you enjoy basketball more? Or? 
It's basketball is really satisfying. It's way more satisfying than soccer because you kind of get to do more and it's more fast paced. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, and um, tell me what the message is that the coaches want you guys to remember. Uh, just no matter what happens, keep your head high, play as a team, be proud of each other. And I know that you had an opportunity this year to um, kind of bond at a tournament in San Diego. Tell us a little bit about that and what you think you learned the most from it. It was so fun. Like what you learn the most is that your teammates are going to have your back no matter what. It's so much fun to get to like hang out with each other and be with each other all the time. And then when you're watching other teams play, what do you sort of lock into to maybe help you in your own game? Uh, we just try to see how they play, what kind of defenses and offenses they run, what potential threats there are. And then how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day? Um, in practice, a lot, probably like 20, depending on the day. At home, I shoot some too, but not as much as that. <laughs> Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I started playing at like third grade, so it's been about seven years. And um, I really liked it because I had great friends and good teamwork, and I love sports teams so much, rather than just like tennis, like an individual sport. Okay. Did you try any other sports? or? I played soccer for a while. Okay. But then I had to choose between soccer and basketball, and I liked basketball a lot more. So, <laughs> What do you think it was about basketball that you liked the most? I don't know. I liked uh, the less people on the court, too, rather than just a giant field. It was less running, but <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just I felt better and comfortable playing basketball rather than soccer. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on in the off season to get a little better? Um, I do a lot of conditioning because I get really out of shape if I don't. Um, I shoot a lot at like um, parks or like any basket I can find uh, and dribbling at home. So it's easy to practice. Yeah. Um, what's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? Well, the coaches are all about our energy and teamwork and uh, the positivity we take. So they want us to learn everything we learn from basketball and apply that to um, the rest of our lives to succeed. And um, they want us to have fun and win. <laughs> all right. And then um, I know that you guys had an opportunity to go to San Diego um, for the tournament. Tell me what you think you got the most out of that experience. Um, the whole tournament was amazing. It was really fun. Besides the games, which are really exciting, and I really enjoyed that, but just being with these girls for so long every night and having game nights and fun activities was really amazing. It's um, a memory I look fond upon, yeah. Okay. And then when, you, when you're like at a tournament situation and you're watching other people play, what do you tend to focus in on? Like when I watch the other teams play? Um, I just like how the teams move, like w even without the ball, like when they're running around and they're passing. Just like communication with the team and teamwork is really honestly fascinating to watch, <laughs> even if it's not just our team, other teams too. Okay. Because basketball takes up so much time, how do you sort of um, navigate the school time with the basketball time? It is, it's it's kind of hard because we practice so much and then we have games like late nights, so I get home really late. But um, I have to learn, I had to learn to not procrastinate. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so now I have to get ahead of everything now, which was frustrating, but I think it's like, uh, it really helped me a lot too. And um, I wouldn't give up basketball because I'm like stressed because it's really fun. Yeah. It's like a stress reliever basically, exactly. yeah. And plus you kind of, I think after a while you kind of like get how to do it, you know, yeah. Okay, and then um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? I should be shooting more, but I would say probably like 30 free throws, and then maybe on the weekends if I like have an open court, I can practice on a lot more, but should be more. <laughs> Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing it ever since uh, I was in kindergarten. Um, I started playing because it was really fun to play with my friends just for fun, and yeah. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, no. Until now. Um, I play lacrosse also. Okay. Yeah. It, it's interesting. What made you pick up lacrosse? Um, I just thought it was something new to try and, and it is different and I really like the community over there too. Okay. And then, um, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to always remember? Um, be positive, keep each other up, um, just play together as a team and it's like a team sport so yeah. Um, I know you guys got to go to San Diego for your bonding trip and the tournament. What was that like? It was really fun. Um, we just like hung out every night. We had a late curfew, and it was just fun to hang out together. We didn't win. We got third, but it was still really fun overall. You get the opportunity at a place like that to watch other people play. What do you think you kind of focus in on when you're watching other teams play? Um, I watch how they, like, who carries the team or, like, who has presence on the court and how they put together as a team and something we can learn from. And then um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Me personally? Um, 16, yeah. 
right, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Uh, I've been playing basketball since kindergarten, and I chose it because my parents played and they coached me. Yeah. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, I tried soccer and softball and cross country. And are you still playing those? Or? Uh, I'm, I'm, I did cross country this year. I don't know if I'm going to do it next year, but I don't do soccer or softball anymore. What do you think it was about basketball that um, made you say, this is a sport I really want to play? Uh, I thought it was fun working with my teammates, and I think it was a good balance of everything, like hard work and like coordination, so I liked it. What are the messages that the coaches want you guys to always remember? Um, they want me to stay positive, even if I'm having a hard time playing. And they want me to be a good sport. Okay, and then um, I know you guys went to a tournament in San Diego this year. Tell me what, um, what that experience was like just being with the girls somewhere else. Uh, it was really fun. We got to bond because like we roomed with each other and it was fun working with them on the court and hanging out off the court, so yeah. When you have the opportunity to watch other people, other teams play, what do you think you sort of notice? Um, I notice that a lot of times they, not always, but we're sometimes on the shorter side so we're kind of underestimated, but so it like motivates me to hustle more. I was going to say, since you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on in the off season to be a little bit better? Uh, I try to run to keep my stamina up, and I try to work on dribbling like every day. How long have you been playing basketball, and why did you choose it for your sport? Um, I've been playing basketball for nine years, and I chose it because my older sister played, and I always thought it looked like really fun. Did you ever try any other sports? I did volleyball, soccer, tennis, and golf. <laughs> I, having tried all the sports, is this the one you settled on or do you still play the rest? Um, yeah, this is the one I settled on. What do you think it was about this game that made you want to do it more than the others? I think it really was the camaraderie of the team and like how everyone like bonded together really well. Okay. And what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, one of the main ones is that like no matter what, you always have to keep your head high. You always have to like play like you're the best team. And like, if you play like you're the best team, you'll act like you're the best team. I know that you had an opportunity to play in the tournament in San Diego and go and be together. What was that like? It was really great. We really bonded like every single second we were together. We really became closer like sisters. And when you watch other teams play, especially since you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of lock into that you notice? Um, we really look out for like shooters who shoots really well and um, people whose defense is like hard to break. Um, cause then when we play them, like we know who to avoid and who to like really get up on. Okay. And then, um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day at practice, we shoot like close to 30 to like 40. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I've been playing since I was in kindergarten and I think I just played it cause my brother played it. So it was just kind of easier <laughs> for my parents. <laughs> Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I tried softball, but I didn't really like it <laughs> that much. What do you think it was about basketball that you liked the most? I think just like the competitiveness of it and like you just get that like kind of adrenaline when you're playing and just like maybe fall in love with the sport. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you do in the off season to get, make, get a little bit better? Uh, I think I just work on my dribbling a lot and my passing since I'm a point guard and I also work on my shot. <laughs> what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, always have energy on and off the court because it brings a lot to like the other players who are playing because it just like sparks them up and gets some hype. <laughs> what is what do you do to kind of psych yourself up before a game? Um, I think I just like overthink and then it just makes me more nervous about the game. <laughs> I just try not to think about it a lot. <laughs> Tune it out, right? Yeah. Okay, and then I know that you guys got to go to San Diego for the tournament. Tell me what you think you got learned the most or got the most from that experience? Um, I think just being as a team, it really helps, like, just, like, everybody lifts each other up, and it just brings, like, this sort of energy that, like, you can feel on the court, and it really helps. And when you watch other people play basketball, what do you think you notice the most? Um, I don't know. It just, like, kind of seems like sometimes they're doing, like, the same stuff that, like, the same mistakes that I would do in the game, so I know how to, like, fix it. Yeah. It's easier once you sort of see it on somebody else. Okay, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? 
every day. Um, maybe like 20 to 30, maybe like 40-ish. Okay. Uh, how long have you been playing basketball? Uh, for five years. What do you think you like the most? Uh, I like shooting. Okay. You went on a team building experience in San Diego with the girls. Do you like to hang out together? Yes. Yeah. How long have you been here? Um, five months. Five months? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How difficult for you has it been to learn English? Um, um, I can understand hearing, yes. but I can't um, make word to speak. It's yeah. easier for you to understand me than to speak, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have many friends on the team now, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever watch um, professional basketball? Um, I watch in Japan. So who is the better basketball team here in Los Angeles? Always up for debate. Is it the Lakers or the Clippers? Okay, and um, who's the better team in L.A., Lakers or Clippers? The Lakers, I feel like, are just always the team, but Clippers, I, they're, they kind of have a little more talent, I feel like, this year. I would probably say the Lakers. Ooh, um... I got to go with the Lakers. <laughs> I'm Lakers all the way. Even if LeBron comes, if he leaves anytime. Let's go. I don't like either team. You know, I don't like to watch it. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I watch, I normally watch whatever's on, but I don't know. I just don't love the Lakers or the Clippers right now. I will forever and always be a Lakers fan. <laughs> the Lakers. Yeah. I would say the Lakers. I'm going to go with the Lakers. Better team, I don't know, but I like watching Kawhi Leonard. I think he's a good defender. I think the Lakers. <laughs> and that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field Local Edition.